Hello everyone, I've got this drive pedometer here and I'm going to be doing a review of it today and you can see it here size next to it, the charger that comes with it same size as the iPhone charger if that gives you an idea I've got an iPhone sitting here I'll also give you a sample size of, of how big this device is it comes with a, a belt clip that you can uh, easily slide over your belt in fact that's the main way that I carry it also has a keychain uh, ring here that that uh, locks and uh, makes it easy to put it on your keychain and carry it in your pocket and it comes with a bag that has a Strive logo on it and also comes with the charging cord so those are all reasonable things that you would expect um, and a little instruction booklet which is right here and uh, it's just fairly simple but you pretty much don't need it as long as your device is in working order so anyway, I'll get started shortly and give you a tour of the device so let's turn this thing on even while this is the locked state even while you're in the locked state you can press the top here and you can see your steps your equivalent stairs uh, the distance you've gone, the calories you've burned, minutes you've been active, and it turned off on me. So there's we've done. I've done 329 steps today. Uh, I was a little slow to put it on. Uh, now you just press this button at the bottom to do the unlock, and then the screen will stay active for longer. Now what you see at the bottom here is that every time you unlock the device or, or most of the time when you unlock the device it's going to challenge you to do some sort of activity. There, There's going to be a bronze, silver, or gold medal related to that activity and it's that determines how hard the activity is going to be. Now you can also see here that it has a progress bar for a hundred stairs uh, once you get to the end of that progress bar you're going to get a reward I'm gonna go ahead and decline this challenge or actually I'm gonna press this up here you'll notice that I changed the distance and it changed the progress bar uh, so there's a, now there's a 1.7 miles Golden Gate Bridge uh, achievement there in the middle and then there is here's for the calories it's the burn a soda for 150 calories and for the minutes it's the challenging to get 15 minutes of activity and then uh, for the strong start it's 1500 steps so let's go ahead and decline the challenge and this is the the basic menu uh, on the left here you can see the the game my land um, I tend to do a lot of races, so there's the race flag, and on the right there is the, the slot machine that does the challenges. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the slot machine. Uh, the slot machine, it's the same challenges that will pop up uh, whenever you activate the device. You can see uh, at the top here, there's, you know, reach 369 steps in 5 minutes or move three miles in three hours or hit uh, 1203 running steps which are a faster pace step in 10 minutes and you know, I accidentally clicked on that one but you can you click on it and it shows you what you're going to get rewarded in terms of energy and uh, right now I have stored up quite a bit in the bank and haven't used it but I can make 2000 uh, and it's zero cost to get in so usually there's a cost associated but I think I might have clicked on a item that takes away the cost now if I hit spin now I've got the sound turned down I may go back and turn that up but uh, you can see that it brought up a whole new list of activities to do so I can do three more minutes of activity in 10 minutes I can do I can hit 183 running steps in two minutes or exceed 6.74 miles today just run it one more time. It can reach 529 steps in 10 minutes, reach 679 steps in 10 minutes, or climb over 464 stairs today. 
All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the race option. And we're not going to be racing anybody in this demo today, but you have three different opponents that you can race against. Uh, one is Waddles, who is the slowest, Sir Bacon, who is the medium guy, and Walkatron, who is going to be the fastest. Um, we'll look at Waddles. And in the case of Waddles, you can race him for a city block, which is 250 steps, which will give you 800 energy. Or you can race him for 1,000 steps uh, in a nature hike, which rewards 4,500 energy. Now, one thing I can tell you, uh, in addition to the points that it will reward you, if you beat them by a certain amount, it gives you bonus. So... Um, one thing I might work on in the future is trying to determine exactly how it calculates the bonus, but it turns out to be a very effective way to get energy to do these races. And let's go back, and you'll notice at the bottom of this screen here, there that was the stepping races. Now there's an equivalent stairs race. Uh, which is real easy if you've got stairs nearby and, and you're fit enough to do the stairs. Um, I, I highly, highly recommend doing the stairs race if you want to earn energy. I've found it to be uh, the easiest way to get energy points, particularly running the hotel option. Uh, we have a set of stairs in our house, and I get most of my points by trying to beat Walkatron up the 80 sets of stairs. And I'll usually do it at least four to five times a day. So um, let's just go back. Go, we'll go into hotel and you see you can get 4,200 energy for beating Waddles um, 80 steps up the stairs, essentially. So um, let's go back and show you Walkatron and the difference. Uh, Walkatron, the hotel gives you uh, 12,600. Uh, energy points for beating him. Um, I'm not in that great a shape, but I can normally beat Walkatron by about 35 to 40 stairs, which awards me somewhere around six to eight thousand energy and bonus. So I end up with twenty thousand energy every time I beat him, which is uh, very nice if you're trying to put bonuses on your uh, the charity donations that I'll show you or you're trying to earn money in my land. Alright, so let's go back out. And the third icon here is the my land icon. And you'll, I'm going to scroll, I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole island. Now, I've been playing for a little while, so I've opened up the upper highland and the lowlands. You start out with just this area in the middle. And uh, your goal is to plant and build things. Using, you, you initially buy them with money. Um, and then they go through three building stages that require energy. And I'll, I'll do a demonstration on, on something. And uh, once you build them, then each one generates money at a certain rate. And I have to go back in. And uh, the goal is basically to get attract centaurs, which I'll scroll around here. You can see some walking around. Centaurs and animals to the island. Um, and uh, you have to do so pretty much by building the most extravagant things that you can. And, uh, and then just continue building. And then uh, there's actually uh, a lot of things you can, can do to expand. Now... Uh, to earn the money, it, it, once you've built something, you earn the money by clicking on these little icons with these little uh, gold coins. And you can see that more money just went into my bank. Uh, sorry, I don't know why it interrupted me with that, but I've got my social turned off right now, probably because my battery is getting low. So why don't we go ahead and do a demonstration of what happens when you plug in. All right. It's going to do a sync, and um, I'll show the computer screen at some point, some other time. But basically, there's an app on your computer, whether you have Mac or Windows, uh, that will then take you to the Strive website where you can see some updates. Um, I'll post some screenshots on the blog. 
And when you do this, it always gives you a reward. Now, there's a fourth option that's missing for me today that is normally an automatic donation. Um, I've already done so many for the week, and then it takes it away. I th my guess is it's one or two a week, and then you can't do it again. Um, so often what I will do is get the uh, Myland Silver Mystery Box. And so that takes me into that screen, but I'm gonna I'm gonna back my way out of that. So that that's syncing. It gives you a reward every day to encourage you to come back and sync every day. So uh, so let's collect some more money, and you can see my money total is going to go up and up. All right, so let's build something. Oh, and you can click on this thing at the bottom, and that, that's my total energy. That's the total money I have in the bank. All right, so now if I go to the shovel and I click on the plant, all right, then I can scroll down here and I'm, let's just see, I'm gonna go with, I don't, I like things that tend to not pop up and give me money all the time. So let's see if I can find something worthwhile. Let's see. I'll go with the fire maple. And there's four spots here that I can build the fire maple. I normally build it on the the edge. And then see now I've I've spent the twenty thousand on it. Now I've got to click this little energy. It's gonna tell me that I'm in stage two of building it, which is gonna require fifteen thousand energy. And then I'm going to click it again to go through the next stage. And then one more time, three phases of building it with energy. And now it is done. And so it will produce money in 7 hours and 29 minutes. So now I have a fire maple. And then sometimes when you build these, that you know, you'll have a, an animal or a centaur or something will, will show up. It's been attracted by it. And... Um, so now let's I'm just go through what all we can build here. Uh, it starts with the cheapest plants that usually are take up a very small amount of area and they produce money fairly fast, but it but in a very small amount. So it would take a long time of collecting money to get any decent amount with so many smaller plants. And you, you can do the zebra fern, the foxglove, the wise oak, bird of paradise, flowering bush. Um, and the list just goes on. There's there's many varieties. Uh, they keep getting bigger. You can build a whole vineyard. You can build what's called a money grove. Now ice maple, mermaid topiary, and it, up to a fifty thousand uh, dollar plant called the fairy forest that can earn you twenty eight thousand five hundred gold in sixteen hours. All right. So let's look at the building. So you can start with a torch. Uh, and in a hut, and then it keeps going up from there. You can build a mansion, you can build an observatory, uh, maiden's tower. And I, one thing I will tell you is this thing can be a little bit of a pain sometimes. It looks like I lost my button somehow. Uh, you have to press firm on this screen. If you don't press firm, then you're going to click on something. So it's not like the iPhone. You have to click it very firm. Uh, Fire of Dreams is one of the biggest items. 2,500,000 produces 5,000 gold every hour. And then there's the Acropolis of Heroes, which is the big building. Uh, it's 25 million and earns 35,000 gold in 24 hours. And so then you hit the star, and the star is the three mystery boxes. Uh, I myself have done a bronze mystery box and a silver mystery box, but I've never spent the 400000 on the gold mystery box, so I can't really tell you what it does. And then there's this interesting item down here that I may come back to later on, because I cannot do it right now, and that's buying Turtle Island for $5 million. So, But I did earn a silver mystery box when we synced... Uh, with the computer. So I'm going to click on that and let you see what that does. Uh, it's free, but it normally costs a significant amount of money. I'm going to buy it and it's going to give me, okay, I earned two times the coins from all plants and fixtures for the next 12 hours, essentially. 
So it's a good idea to sink early in the day before you start clicking on your money because there's a, at least a two times earner and there's a four times earner. And then there's, uh, well, I think it's a two times the money or a four times the speed. So uh, you want to do it, you're, they all have timers on them, so you don't want to do it while you're asleep because um, the timer's just going to run out and you'll never benefit from it. All right, so here we go. We got hit with another challenge that I'm going to decline, which is climb 25 stairs. Okay, so let's go back into the game real quick. So I don't know if I've showed you everything yet. Uh, so I'm going to hit the shovel again. And then I didn't ever click on bank. Now, this is the My Land Bank, and uh, this is actually my primary way of earning money. So despite building all these buildings, I find that they tend to not produce money fast enough. So, you know, and it makes sense. The whole goal of this device is to get you active. And so it turns out that the best way to progress in the game is to be as active as possible. Um, and the best way to earn energy is to climb stairs, as it currently appears, or possibly uh, run, but I haven't tried that very much. Um, and so you can you can earn you can earn a lot of energy by doing stairs. You then can take that energy in here, and as you buy bigger amounts, uh, you get more bang for your buck, essentially, and energy or more buck for your bang, as you could say when you do the, when you're in here in the bank. So uh, I tend to come in here uh, once I've earned quite a bit of energy and, and buy like 400,000 coins at once or something like that because the ratios just get more and more in your favor as it gets bigger. Now, and there's also a, a mystery box too that like multiplies this thing to where it's like double the ratio so you can earn like twice as many gold coins for the amount of energy. Um, and, and that turns out to be an extremely to get gold so uh, that was one of the reasons why I even have the highlands and the lowlands um, because you know and I never really explained how you get to those but um, on the high I'm going to show you all the options I don't know if I got through all of them yeah the biggest one is four million eight hundred thousand all right so the highlands and the lowlands um, are obtained similar to doing quests which is another thing I haven't showed you but uh, you basically need to build, to get to the lowlands, you need to build, I think I built them over here. Oh, which ones was it? It must have been the, the two uh, tiger mansions. I might, I might have to go back and check that out. But no, 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 I'm totally wrong. Sorry. I, to get the lowlands, I built these two fountains of youth. Um, so you can... I'm going to go ahead and just earn the money off those, show you how that's done. They earn quite a bit of money, and they're pretty good. Once you build two of those, they cost 250000 apiece, a um, and a lot of energy. I don't remember the exact amount of energy. Then I was able to open up the lowlands, and all I've done is I've come down to the lowlands where I built my two Parthenons, and the two Parthenons were acquired to uh, get access to the highlands, which are up here. So... And I don't know where the Turtle Island is going to show up once I buy that, but it's, it's going to be somewhere, maybe a whole different screen that, that we can progress on. So, anyways, there there is one uh, other thing about this game is the quest icon in the upper right. I'm going to go back and click that again. You can see the quest icon. And uh, it's just like the challenges, uh, except each one of them is going to basically have a, a gold reward for doing certain things. Um, uh, you know, tap a lemur to make it dance. I think I've got one of those somewhere. So let's just go and try that. Let's find a lemur. Let's see. Where are you? Of course, it's probably going to take me forever to find one. Ah, there it is. Yep, you tap him and he dances. There we go. Got the Limmer dance party. So, there you've seen a quest get completed. There comes the money. Alright, and the quest icon shows back up. 
Um, I often do the uh, collect, you know, 35,000 coins type quest because I'm collecting money anyways, and I might as well. So that's just a faster way to earn money. All right, so then you can also spend this and get different things. Build an iron hut, build three maidens towers, attract 50 animals. Uh, right now I just can't even fathom why anybody would try to attract 50 animals because it seemed like it would just take weeks upon weeks to do it, and but it pays 250000 Maybe somebody else has a better idea on how to do that. Let's spin it again. And yeah, we got the tap of lemur again, the exchange 100,000 energy at the bank, and grow three mermaid topiaries. So let's check out that hard one, see how... Oh, that one actually rewards an animal. So it's something to look out for. If it doesn't pay gold, you might, you might need the animal. So uh, it might be another way to get them faster. That's the first I've seen that. So, all right, so that's... That's my land. Uh, I, yeah, I thought it wouldn't be a highly motivating factor for me, but I spend a whole lot more time in here messing around than I ever thought I would, and um, still working my way towards earning that island. And I'm probably going to do a pretty detailed write-up on this game on the exer-gamer.com exer blog site, um, just to... Just to cover the details that for people who like to, uh, you know, beat these things easily and as fast as possible. So let's go back. And one option that I have not shown you is that these three items tend to be the ones you use the most. So there's plenty of things down here if you hit the menu button. Uh, now, some of us may not be interested in games, uh, you know, the, there's those of us that are far more interested in real world type of things that are going on, and that's really where the walkathon comes in. Uh, that's where you do your charity donations. Now, uh, once I've earned uh, so many points, and I haven't quite figured out if these points are tied directly to the energy points. Um, I, I can pay for a donation, which in this case, if you read the screen, I can conserve a parking lot size area of Tanzania's, uh, Tanzania, I can't ever pronounce that right, uh, rainforest for one year, and that just costs 10000 So let's, and then if we go back, you can fight polio, you can immunize one child in a worldwide fight against polio, and that costs 25000 and then there's clean water, which I've done a bunch of these. You can provide a day's worth of clean water for a child in South America. So let's go back to the rainforest. That's the one I currently, well, it, it kind of, let's see, there we go. Um, one thing you can do is you can take 2,000 of your energy and apply it to a bonus and, uh, and your charitable donation. So I'm, I just applied it, and uh, it's on some sort of timer, so I can't do it again for, uh, I don't know if I have to complete this donation first, or if it takes some amount of time, it's just going to require some testing to figure that out. But you can't just come in here with uh, the amount of energy I've got and just buy a bunch of donations. It's not going to happen. So, uh, you again, uh, uh, the best way to earn donations is to stay active. So, and it's probably by design. Uh, so let's keep going down. I've not found another strive anywhere near me. Uh, hopefully with this review that more of these will be showing up out there. So therefore I do not have any friends nearby that I can connect to nor uh, race with. But there are videos online where you can see that you can race with other people uh, that are nearby. And I'm assuming there are energy rewards for beating them. So uh, that's just another way to uh, earn energy using your strive. Now another big motivating factor that's in here are are the uh, trophies, which oddly enough I haven't earned any today because I haven't had the 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 strive on. Um, I've earned just a little bit, so let's just look at what I could be earning because I'm being slow. Uh, there's a stairway to heaven, which I've almost totaled seven thousand eight hundred eighty four stairs uh, all time, I believe. Yes, all time. If you look at the screen which will award 35,000 energy when it's complete. So I'm, I'm almost there on that one. Um, and, and these are the two of the bigger awards. Uh, 20,000 calories, 
which will pay out 15k energy and then there's 20 miles and walk from San Francisco to Santa Cruz which is 70 miles all time uh, and then there's there's this there's a bunch of weekly activities uh, rewards so if you get to certain amounts in one week uh, which I think is a, a, a Sunday through Saturday thing is what I read on the um, on Twitter Some, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong um, and then there's uh, complete a marathon and that one occurs over a week so it can reset on you I've done it and uh, at least I think I did it, got close. Uh, then there's a new weekly records. Uh, you also have daily uh, uh, highs if you break your, your peak record for a day on, on any of the major categories such as time, calories, steps, whatever. Uh, you can get rewards for that. There's 200,000 steps all the time. I'm probably going to go through and list all these on on the blog rather than covering them all in, in the video. But you know, you can climb Mount Everest. Uh, but some of the biggest rewards being down here is like two times Mount Everest. I, mean, I just think some of these things don't even show up until you've already gotten some of the other ones to go away. It just seems like it keeps piling them in here. There's 500k calories burned. Um, then there's 3,000 miles, and I think, yeah, there's a 6,000 miles that awards 650k energy. So, um, also, if you do so many of the challenges in a day, you get rewards for that. And then, you know, and it tracks your all time, so how many times you've earned the, the different activities. And uh, I've climbed the Eiffel Tower a couple times and uh, set my personal best quite a bit 10,000 calories. Uh, did plus 300 steps for us yesterday twice. You know, there's, there's a lot of uh, there. Yeah, I didn't really cover. There's a lot of verse yesterday achievements, which allow you to continue to if you beat your previous day's total in anything by a significant amount, you just keep on keep on going. Now, now one thing I, I I've have a very 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 slight complaint about is nine plus. You know, I'd really prefer to know exactly how many times I burned a soda, not just to have it say nine plus once I get past nine. But you know, we'll see. I haven't used the device forever. The trophies are they're highly motivating. Um, the, then there's charts, so you can look at your last seven days or you can look at your month, and so. Uh, you can see I've had the device for you know, roughly two weeks, and um, in the five days you can actually click on each one and get totals. All right, so then you can go to stairs, and you can see I did 837, 814, 593. Friday and today I've not been able to do the stairs just to the extenuating circumstances, but I will be getting back to those because I find them very effective. In miles, uh, I've done 1.4, 2.6, 4.0, 1.4, and you know, some of these totals are a little low because you actually have to remember to wear your Strive every day, which uh, uh, this happened to me twice over two weeks that I've forgotten to, and left the Strive behind. Uh, calories, I did 520 on Tuesday, 930 Wednesday, 5, 1536 on Thursday, and 574. And if you look at this, you can tell that like last weekend I really like tore it up, you know, and set my peak. So. That was because I mowed the yard. All right, so you just run back to this. I like how it shows your daily average and your personal best. That that's that's actually kind of helpful and just a unique statistic that this device has. Let me go back. All right, then we've got our stats for today, um, all in one little screen here. We can just kind of scroll down and look at them. And you got your daily averages. So there, there's 6,301 steps, 463 stairs, 3.1 miles. Yeah, so it just it averages it out over time so that you can uh, try to beat those. There's a little tip screen, and and one thing I'll tell you, this thing, this another interesting thing the Strive does is it is it slowly tries to teach you the device by having these little pop up similar to the challenges that will say hey if you checked this out and if you click it it gives you 500 energy and then takes you to a screen to where you can uh, do you know do things and and even like to set up the website I think it tells you a little web link to go to to get started on setting up the website so um, let's just do this how to use strip I think there's even a little tutorial we can play um, 
So here we go. Press firmly and drag up, keep scrolling, and then tap the button firmly. Yay! So, let's see, you get used to sync to get new apps and fresh content, send walkathon donations, and back up your strip data. That's to strive the the one of the things is you know your donations do not get turned in until you sync up because it has no wireless communication capability uh, like some of the other devices have. So I'm gonna hit back. Cause I've already got strip sync. Well, maybe I have to hit. It. Yeah, there it goes. It gives me the website to do the strip sync and and now I have to hit confirm. So it's. Didn't intend to take myself through all this, but I am. So it's going to make me walk, and I can, I can tell you I can already fake it out. But you fake it by basically um, sitting here and and just holding it to a rhythm, and, it, and what it's going to do is it, it if the there's a pattern to the steps, then it's going to start counting them. So let's just keep it going. But it's not gonna it's not gonna count a one off you know bounce. I think this is gonna reset my device. It's gonna be really exciting. Strive energy is fun and There's powerful. Another one. It's your reward for all the activity you do during the day. It makes your plants grow. Powers new personal challenges and speeds up your donations to real world causes. Every step in the real world increases your strive energy. The harder your activity, the greater your reward. So let's start moving. All right, so hopefully that didn't reset anything. Ah, it didn't. So it kind of scared me for a second there. Afraid I was gonna have to restart my land. All right, so you've kind of seen the tip screen. I'm gonna stay off of anything else there. It might cause trouble. My land, and yeah, even my land has a video tutorial built into the game. So once you have the device, you can you can see it has all the instructions necessary to to do those things. So let's go to settings and then you can control the brightness slide that down back up I've been keeping a little low for this demo I can turn up the sound turn that back down uh, set the day time inches and pounds uh, social if that's on calibrate the screen uh, see the privacy policy licensing info and strive version so then I can click on this little person here and that's me Age 34, height 6'2", 232 pounds, which is now 230 pounds thanks to this device. So let's go and change that now. So I'm going to go back. So it's at 230 pounds, stride length, and registration code, and reset for new user, which I'm not going to do. All right, so there you have it. That is a demo of the Strive. Um, I'm planning on doing much more detailed uh, reviews and write-ups on the site. It has uh, been far more impressive than I thought. This device was not given to me. I found it at Best Buy when I was looking for another device, and I said, "Hey, you know, this fits with what we're reviewing at the blog. We're we're trying to review anything that's a game that helps you lose weight." and um, this has a game and it helps you lose weight so it meets our qualifications um, and so uh, you know hopefully this uh, review has told you something about the device that you didn't already know 
Uh, if not, you can check out our blog and uh, find out more information about the Strive or other devices or other video games. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off and uh, good luck.